With Wave, we have our next level price for performance. It's extremely low interference, and we have active internal development going on with enhancements, and I'll talk about those in a, a second. We have the design tools along with our fiber. We have 60 gigahertz in our ISP design tool that helps you calculate rain fade. And this is a, a great product for short to mid range with really high throughput and really low latency. Our two access points, uh, I think both of these are very effective in different scenarios. So it's important, important to talk about both of them. The Wave AP has a 30 degree integrated antenna the 2.5 gig PoE port and a 10 gig SFP plus port. The Wave Micro is 90 degrees with the integrated antenna and a 2.5 gig PoE port. So one really important thing as you're selecting an access point is the vertical beam width as long as the horizontal coverage. The Wave AP Micro, uh, the angle on this can go maybe two to three miles out and you have a wide coverage area both horizontal and vertical. The built-in 802.11ax 5 gigahertz backup radio gives great performance in the event where rain takes out the radio. I've seen a lot of customers deployed on these, business customers, where if 60 gigahertz goes out, uh, ultimately they never know that the signal has dropped because it's just a seamless failover to the backup 5 gigahertz radio. We also recently increased the client count from 224 from a max of 15. And this can also be fed from our UISP Switch Plus, one of our newest UISP switches that has four 2.5 gig PoE ports and four 10 gig SFP ports. This is our lineup of our CPEs, and these can also be set up in point-to-point -point mode with the latest firmware. And uh, I see these replacing some Air Fiber 11 links or 24 gigahertz links because they're extremely low interference and really high throughput. So those the, and this of course can work as CPEs at varying ranges when paired with one of the Wave APs. We released our Wave firmware 3.3.1 yesterday. This has stability improvements for client count, backup frequency, and distance. You'll see some, some resiliency improvements, and we're hard at work on making this the best product that we can. Uh, we also added configurable failover threshold, so you can choose when the threshold cuts over to 5 gigahertz from 60 gigahertz. And some previous firmware, we also made improvements for quarter quarter channel quarter size channels, and our Wave AI tool dynamically changes the frequency selection and the channel width to give the best performance during rain fade or at different distances. We have mobile UI improvements as techs are in the field configuring these, and many other improvements and fixes in this firmware to keep improving this product.